Hi, Doug Pelton from The Frame Up. Today we want to talk about the Tompkins Steering Kit. There's a couple of issues that uh, we discovered that we want to share with you. Uh, it's a great item to improve your steering. We've got it installed on the car we're uh, finishing up. It's TC1675. Let's take a look at the internals and uh, the concept of how the Tompkins kit works. The box itself, British Cam uh, steering box, has a, uh, we call it a worm gear, and then you've got a sector shaft. The way this works is the peg fits into the worm gear itself, and as this turns, then it turns the peg, which correspondingly turns your wheels. So the problem is getting the adjustment correct so that the sector shaft fits down snugly into the worm. If it does not, if it's up too high, then you're going to have chatter and movement and you're going to notice that in your steering wheel. So the whole idea is to be able to set this up and press the sector shaft down into position correctly. The Tompkins kit, when installed, allows you to adjust this sector shaft up and down. And the way that's done is through a series of uh, two thrust washers and a needle bearing in between. And that sets on top of the sector shaft. And then the Tompkins cover has an adjust screw in the center. And that fits in there and allows you to adjust more or less pressure on the sector shaft to keep it engaged. Now, here's the first problem that we discover is that the, the original sector shaft had a step in it. So I'm going to take this out to illustrate better. This thrust washer does not sit flat on top of the sector shaft, so it needs to be machined machine back to have a nice smooth flat surface otherwise this rocks and uh, that's not going to give you a good adjustment so that's the first problem the uh, replacement uh, sector shafts already have a flat machined uh, surface so that's not as a major uh, concern compared to the original ones as always, you want to have these Magnaflux inspect for any uh, cracks or, uh, or damage. The second problem is that there's variations in the casting of the body itself. And you, this is a, a box that uh, clearly illustrates that. You can see minimal clearance over here and wide clearance over here. So if you put the thrust washer in place and center it, get my fingers out of the way here, and center it on the hole, of the sector shaft, you can see it actually rides on the edge of the steering box itself. In order to clear the box, the center would have to be over in this area. So the second problem is that the thrust washer and kit that's currently uh, in the field right now is too large and with the interference does not allow you to adjust the sector shaft. What we have is a replacement kit This is what uh, we offer here. It's a it's a uh, adjustment screw that's a different diameter, smaller, and then the smaller thrust washers that clear the edge of the box, so there is no interference, and you can get a uh, a clean adjust. In order to find out if uh, the steering box needs to be adjusted or set up we need to do just a very, very simple test. And that is, uh, with your car in the static position, just see how much play you have in the wheel. Now right now, we've got uh, four to five inches, indicating that uh, there is excessive play. And so the first step is to uh, adjust the Tompkins kit. And I've got, the, I've got the nut already loose, so I can put the screwdriver in the top, and I'm gonna just tighten it down until it's until it's snug and then let's go back to the steering wheel and see if there's any play that actually takes care of most of it so 
to really fine tune this, it's best to uh, jack up the front, of, front end of the car and uh, tighten down the Tompkins uh, adjust screw and, and then turn it stop to stop where you have clear, uh, unrestricted, uh, smooth movement. And if it's got any binding at all, then loosen the adjust screw, but find that uh, sweet spot where you have uh, good steering. So this particular car and the Tompkins kit is set up uh, correctly and if you have issues if you have issues where the uh, kit does not do the job then you need to inspect the uh, kit itself and look at the internals. The repair of the uh, Tompkins kit is uh, very easily easy. It's a remove and replace type item. First of all you take and remove the cover itself and you're going to unscrew the existing uh, Tompkins adjust screw which has the uh, larger washers. We'll set those aside and then you're going to simply screw in the new adjust screw and then in order to uh, get everything uh, set up correctly we've got the uh, smaller thrust washers and uh, needle bearing we want to pre-lube this because it, it's not like this stuff splashes, it's really uh, thick molasses so you can take and just uh, dunk your finger in there and pre-lube this very liberally on both sides. Uh, you want to have these stick together so they, so they sit uh, uniform and if necessary even just a little bit of uh, uh, wheel bearing grease around the edge and then that way you can uh, set these uh, in, in, and then it's just a matter of putting your three bolts in here and uh, fastening it back together.